The new gold standard. Central banks can't get enough. Central banks are hoarding gold. This buying frenzy is unlike anything we've seen in decades. Forget paper currencies, gold is back in style. But why are central banks so eager to stock up on this precious metal? Trust issues, why everyone wants gold right now. The world is a risky place. Inflation is soaring and geopolitical tensions are simmering. In times of uncertainty, gold shines. It's a tangible asset with intrinsic value, unlike fiat currencies that can be printed into oblivion. Central banks are realizing that diversifying their reserves with gold is crucial. They're losing faith in the US dollar, which has dominated global finance for decades. Gold represents stability and security in an increasingly volatile world. It's a hedge against economic turmoil and central banks are taking note. History repeats itself. Gold as a safe haven. Gold has always been a symbol of wealth and stability, a precious metal that has stood the test of time. This isn't the first time central banks have turned to gold during times of crisis. In fact, it's a well-trodden path that has been followed for centuries. Throughout history, gold has been the ultimate safe haven asset. Its intrinsic value and universal acceptance make it a reliable store of wealth, especially during turbulent times. During the 1970s when the Bretton Woods system collapsed, central banks bought gold hand over fist. This was a period marked by economic uncertainty and high inflation, and gold provided a hedge against the devaluation of paper currencies. The 2008 financial crisis triggered another gold rush. As financial markets crumbled and trust in financial institutions waned, investors and central banks alike flocked to gold. As the global economy teetered on the brink, central banks sought refuge in the yellow metal. Gold's stability offered a sense of security amidst the chaos. Gold prices soared to record highs. The demand for gold surged as it became a safe harbor in the stormy seas of economic turmoil. The current geopolitical and economic landscape is eerily similar to these past crises. With rising tensions and economic instability, the allure of gold remains as strong as ever. It's no wonder central banks are turning to gold once again. In uncertain times, gold's enduring value and stability make it the go-to asset for preserving wealth and ensuring financial security. 2023, a record year for central bank gold purchases. Central banks added a staggering 1,136 tons of gold to their reserves in 2023. This unprecedented accumulation of gold has caught the attention of financial analysts and economists worldwide. This was the highest level of annual net purchases on record, a significant milestone that reflects the growing importance of gold in global financial systems. Surpassing the previous record set in 1967, the comparison between these two years highlights a dramatic shift in central bank strategies over the decades. The demand for gold shows no signs of slowing down. Central banks are increasingly viewing gold as a safe haven asset, especially in times of economic uncertainty and geopolitical tensions. China and Russia have been the most aggressive buyers, significantly boosting their gold reserves as part of their broader strategy to reduce reliance on the US dollar. But central banks worldwide are getting in on the action. From Asia to Europe and even in the Americas the trend is clear. Gold is back in favor. Even Western central banks which were net sellers of gold for years have reversed their stance. This shift marks a significant change in their approach to reserve management, are now adding to their holdings. This move is seen as a hedge against potential economic downturns and currency devaluations. This insatiable appetite for gold is a clear indication that central banks are preparing for a future where the dollar may no longer reign supreme. As they diversify their reserves, gold is becoming an increasingly critical component of their financial strategies, ensuring stability and security in an unpredictable global economy. Section 5. The Dollar's Dilemma. Is this the end of U.S. currency dominance? The U.S. dollar's status as the world's reserve currency is under threat. The United States' reckless monetary policies and its weaponization of the dollar through sanctions have eroded trust in the currency. Countries are increasingly looking for alternatives to the dollar for international trade and finance. Gold, with its long history as a reliable store of value, is a natural choice. As more central banks diversify away from the dollar and into gold, the dollar's dominance will continue to wane. This could have profound implications for the global financial system. Section 6. 
What happens when everyone wants gold? This question has intrigued economists, investors, and policymakers alike for centuries. The surge in central bank gold buying is already having an impact on the price of gold. Central banks around the world are increasing their gold reserves as a hedge against economic uncertainty and inflation. Gold prices have been steadily rising and are expected to continue their upward trajectory. This trend is driven by a combination of factors, including geopolitical tensions, currency devaluations, and the desire for a stable store of value. As demand outstrips supply, we could see gold prices reach unprecedented levels. The limited availability of gold means that even small increases in demand can lead to significant price hikes. The increased demand for gold is also likely to benefit gold mining companies. These companies are ramping up production to meet the growing demand, investing in new technologies and expanding their operations. As central banks compete for a limited supply of gold, mining companies will be able to command higher prices for their output. This could lead to increased profitability and potentially higher stock prices for these companies. This gold rush by central banks is a sign of the times. It reflects a broader trend of seeking safe haven assets in an increasingly volatile global economy. It's a clear indication that the global monetary system is undergoing a major shift. As trust in traditional fiat currencies wanes, gold is once again becoming a cornerstone of financial stability. This shift could have long-lasting implications for global trade, investment strategies, and economic policies. Section 7, Beyond 2024, Predicting the Future of Gold Predicting the future is always a fool's errand, but one thing is certain, central banks will continue to accumulate gold in the coming years. The factors driving this trend geopolitical uncertainty, inflation, and a loss of faith in fiat currencies are not going away anytime soon. We may even see a return to a gold standard, where currencies are backed by physical gold. This would be a major shift in the global monetary system but it's not outside the realm of possibility. Whatever the future holds, one thing is clear, gold is back and it's here to stay. Section 8. Gold, the ultimate insurance policy. In these uncertain times, gold is the ultimate insurance policy. It's a hedge against inflation, a safe haven asset, and a store of value that has stood the test of time. Central banks understand this, which is why they're buying gold hand over fist. If you're not already invested in gold, now is the time to consider adding it to your portfolio. Gold is no longer just a barbarous relic. It's the asset of the future. Don't get caught on the wrong side of this trade. Invest in gold today and protect your wealth from the coming storm. Section 9. Disclaimer. This essay is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Always consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions.